All right, folks, Rick Mills, Dave Delfavaro. We're getting ready to load the truck. Big Dave's driving yeah. initially. We're headed west. We're going to Colorado for Colorado Elk. Opening day, archery season, 2 September. We're in Kansas getting ready to enter Colorado at some point here and you can just see forever, forever, like wide open spaces, USA, it's absolutely amazing. Dave's never been out here. That's a, something to see, glad I'm out here to see it. So we're hoping to see the Colorado border sign stop, take a photo. We'll be in Colorado, our final state. Right there on the right, see the brown sign? That's the Colorado sign. We were on our way in and we drove through one of the mud puddles that's in the middle of the road and completely smelled like elk, like a wallow. There's elk tracks in the wall, there's elk tracks all around it. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful deer. Okay, go. Awesome. Colorado. It's my second time coming back to this area. Dave's first. We broke the hunt up into three segments pretty much. I guided Dave around for a couple days. In the middle we hunted together but in separate locations and the last part we completely separated and hunted in different locations. Watch this video and see how it progresses folks. My second year hunting elk, sort of learn as you go. I just saw a huge elk, my first time ever. I was coming out from where I was this morning and I was walking by the pond and I'm just bebopping down the road instead of like hunting like I normally do when I'm hunting for whitetails. I'm just like, oh, I'm on my way back to camp. In the middle of the field, 
He's just standing there in all the glory. Huge. Like the cover of a magazine. So I just went around. I'm going to give him a half hour, hour. Just... I never did see that elk again. These mule deer got kind of interested in my bugling. Came over to check me out. I'm videoing this with my Tacticam. Oh man. Oh. Day two complete. Just got done eating dinner. So we saw an elk today. I saw an elk today. He saw some sign. That's good. So, day two complete. Day three tomorrow. Back at it. We're going right back into the same place where we basically found that herd of elk. Not kidding. The amount of tracks that are up there are ridiculous. It looks like the elk played football in this one open area in the forest. That's where I'm going to sit tomorrow morning. Dave's going to be down below where they crossed over the over the, tra the trail into it. We're hoping to pull one out. Hoping to pull an elk out. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hope so. <laughs> So, I'm a member of RMEF, Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. When you read the publication, they say one thing, don't leave elk to find elk. We found some elk, so we're gonna stay on them. We think we know where the herd is. We've got water sources. We've got them crossing back and forth. So we're gonna go sit on that cross point tonight, set up an ambush, see what happens. As a whitetail hunter, hunting elk, calling elk, has a huge learning curve, but I'm willing to keep trying. This cow snuck in on me. I didn't even see her come into the water hole. It wasn't until I turned around and noticed her standing there that I even Got the camera ready. The tags we drew were bull only. So I'd even have a chance to try to take a shot at this cow elk. Maybe one day. The previous year, hunting with Dave Blue, I'd flown to Arizona and driven to Colorado. I never even saw an elk. So when you're seeing elk, you got to be doing something right. My first elk cow in the water. The wind's blowing that way. She got in the water. I have no clue how she didn't smell me. It's hot. She just doesn't care. One cow, all I need is a bull. Wait for that bull, baby. It's time. The guidance I was given by Dave Blue the year before, coming back by myself, was to find water, it's early season, it's hot, they got a drink, sit on the water holes, set up ambush positions, and wait. First couple days we spent walking around, looking for elk, calling, just so I could show Dave Del Favo around. Soon after that, we followed Dave 
lose guidance, hit those holes, it started working. In Colorado, when you have a bull tag, the bull has to have four on each side. So this spike has to pass. You can see by the shake in the camera that Dave's getting excited though. Wondering if a bull will wander in up behind those cows somehow. We're hunting out of field expedient blinds. Some of the water holes already have them established where somebody took a bunch of branches and sticks and piled it together in sort of a bird's nest that you sit in. It's exactly what Dave's sitting in right now. Site selection has a lot to do with wind direction. You'll see why in a second. September 7th, just in case you don't think there's any rye activity taking place. Would have been nice to be somewhere near this while it was happening. They're here. So I'm about like 300 meters away from that that rub that I found, and I found a scrape. It's 7 September. You can see here, you can see where the back legs, front legs, back legs, back legs, pushing the stuff, front legs, and you got a pile of debris from the front legs, pile, pile of debris from the back legs. There is elk, there's elk red activity. And we're leaving today. Stuff's turning up. Maybe it'd be better to come second week next year. Thinking that's the plan. Week two, 2021. Who wants to go hunting with Ricky Mouse? Colorado. Elk. Pre rut. We had put a game camera back where Dave had sat previously because we knew that was a hot spot. To come around the corner. Holy cow. If you look close, you'll actually see that there's two bulls. What I'm doing here is using my video camera to confirm that he's got at least four on each side. I'm looking for my arrow, and I can't find my arrow. The arrow was definitely going toward him when I pulled the trigger. He was at 73, 75. I practiced that shot. I found a spot where one of them. All right, that pink, 
That's where he was standing. That marks the trail. The only thing I have right now are footprints. I can't find my arrow, and I haven't found any blood. So I'm going to try to do the right thing, and I'm going to go get Dave, clear my head, take a break, and then Dave and I can both come back, because maybe I'm not seeing blood. There's this thing called blood blind. I don't know if you know about that. I'm excited, so I'm going to give him a break anyways. I'm going back to camp. And then I'm going to get Dave out here. I'm going to have two sets of eyes to look for the arrow for a good 30 minutes. And then we can slowly start trying to follow these tracks. The two bulls, they're moving together. They're leaving pretty good prominent divots in the ground. It's dry, dry, dry. So two, two sets of eyes are better than one. So I'm going, I'm going to get Dave. We're going to come back here and we're going to start tracking. Oh man. Ah, there it is. Clean as a whistle. Yeah. It's your dad, Rick. Man. <laughs> I can't really. I really don't know how I feel right now. No. You know, I mean, the, the animal's not wounded. You know. But I didn't get an elk. No, I feel disappointed for you too, man, because it don't mean a lot to you. You really want one. Thank you, man. <laughs> Th thanks for being here and just uh, just enjoying this with me. I'm like, yeah. today, we're loading out today. So earlier I said the 6th, it's actually the 7th. We had five and a half days of hunting planned. You went for a walk today. What'd you this see is the second walk. <laughs> <laughs> I could put about half a mile from the camp, walk around the corner out, and there's wide open area. I look to my left, there's five cows just grazing along. Like my first impression was they remind me of horses. Just chilling. Took some photos with my camera, and that was it, man. Stay tuned, folks, for <laughs> season four elk hunting <laughs> next year, 2021. You want to go hunting with Ricky Mills? You want to go hunting with Wild Jagger? Get a hold of me at r.mills at wildjagger.com. Go to our Wild Jagger YouTube page. Check out some of our videos. We're hunting over in Europe, and we're also hunting over in uh, North America now that I moved back from, the, uh, from Germany, from Europe. So not only are we stateside hunting elk, we're also over in Hungary hunting Robux. We're over there hunting the Red Stag, very similar to bow hunting uh, elk. If you've been bow hunting elk for 10, 15 years, you've had success several times consider flying over to Europe we'll fly into Budapest go hunt red stag have the same kind of experience but in a foreign country sound like fun that's what we specialize in at Wild Jagger so that's all for this show you got anything else you want to say no nope. I'm good man all right thanks, thanks for thanks for thanks man <laughs> thanks a lot The unit we hunt in Colorado changed to a draw unit the next year. Stay tuned as we keep putting in and trying to get back to Colorado, folks.